What's up guys, Gary with self.dev. Today we're gonna learn how to install Kali Linux on Windows in a virtual machine. So let's get to it. Obviously you are gonna need to download some stuff for this, but it's all free, so no worries. First thing we're gonna need is obviously a virtual machine. Uh, I recommend VirtualBox. Um, no, don't really have any good reasons to recommend this one other than it's what I've used in the past and what I continue to use. If you wanna use another virtual machine, you are welcome to do that. Installation should be fairly similar, although if you run into any bugs uh, I might not be able to help you out with that but we're gonna download VirtualBox so we're just gonna click this download VirtualBox here we're gonna go to Windows hosts and just click on that if you're on Mac do Mac OS uh, if you're on Linux obviously do Linux do whatever applies to you next thing we're gonna need is 7-zip because we're going to need to unzip some files when we do this I already have it installed but this is just a pretty basic program to install you're just gonna go to 7-zip.org and I will have all of these links in the description of the video so you can just go down there and click to get it faster I'm gonna click the download here assuming you have Windows and then download that install it third thing we're gonna need obviously is a version of Kali Linux so you're just gonna go to Kali.org again linked will be in the description we're gonna go to download, and then there are a bunch of different versions you can get here. We are going to use the virtual machine version. Why are we using the virtual machine version? Assuming you're new, this is the safest way to learn Kali Linux because you're kind of in like an isolated silo in your machine. If you do something to mess up the virtual machine, you can just kill it and then restart versus if it's installed on your computer and you mess something up, you might like crash your system. So this is just a safer way to do it. Also, if anybody tries to do anything malicious, they have to one, realize they're in a virtual machine and then two, break out of that virtual machine. So just a safer way to do it. But we're gonna get the virtual machine here. Now, depending on what virtual machine you're using, you will download a different version. We're using VirtualBox. That's what we downloaded here. So we're just going to click the download button. It is kind of big, it's almost three gigabytes. So you might want, depending on your internet connection, you might need to go do some other stuff while this downloads. We are going to just install the virtual machine. And I guess I can go ahead and reinstall 7-zip, so I'll download that too real quick. But if we go to our downloads folder here, we see that we've got VirtualBox. We're gonna open that and start the VirtualBox installation. Let me bring this over here so you guys can see. So we get the welcome to Oracle VM VirtualBox. Your version might be different depending on when you install this. Another thing we need to check real quick is that your computer has virtualization enabled. So if you right click on your taskbar, go to task manager, you're gonna to go to performance, CPU, and then down here, you wanna check and make sure virtualization is enabled. If it's not, you have to go to your BIOS menu and adjust that. I'm not gonna cover that in this video, but I will have another video out soon on how to do that. If you look on my channel page or in the description of this video, if that video is out, you can just click on that link and go watch it to enable this and then come back and resume this tutorial. But assuming you've got virtualization enabled, I didn't have to do anything, it's enabled by default on mine. We're gonna proceed with the installation here. You can mostly just click next through all of this. Uh, we're gonna click yes, we're going to install this, and then we're going to just give this a second and let that run. How is our Kali Linux install coming? Cool, we've got six minutes left. I need to get a wired connection. Awesome, so that took about 30 seconds for Oracle VM box to install on my computer. Um, we're just gonna click start Oracle VM after installation. We're gonna click finish. And then we're also going to get 7-zip up and install that real quick. Again, I have it, I have 7-zip installed, so you might have different stuff than I do happen here. Um, doesn't look like it. It looks like it's gonna do the base stuff, but you're just gonna click, click install and it's installed. Um, nice, simple, easy installation. We need that because we need to unzip the Kali Linux file after that's downloaded, but we're gonna give it another minute here and let this finish downloading. And after Kali Linux has finished installing, we are going to have VirtualBox up. This is what it should look like when it's, um, after you finish the installation process, it should pop up like this as long as you have that checkbox clicked. Uh, we're gonna go to our downloads here and open up the Kali Linux download. And then this is why we needed 7-zip. As you can see, it's a zipped folder. So we need to right click on this and click extract all. And then we're just going to extract it here. So this should pop up and then the, you can adjust the extraction folder if you want to. I'm just gonna put it in the downloads because I don't 
really want to move it. Uh, you should get a folder like this that's not zipped, and then we'll just wait another minute for that to finish up. And after it's unzipped, we should have a folder in our downloads that we can move into. Uh, we're going to go into here, and then we've got our VBox of Kali Linux. So now we need to go back to our virtual machine and we're just going to click add and then we need to navigate to where that file is. So downloads the unzipped folder and then we'll just click the VBox file and open. And before we start this, we do wanna double check some stuff in our settings. So you want to make sure that our system is allocating a, an appropriate amount of stuff. You don't want to max out your base memory cause then you're gonna have issues running it. Um, you can adjust this to whatever you want it to be. I just stay out of the yellow or red zone. I'm going to keep it down here kind of low. And then we also want to check the processor. So I'm giving it what, what two cores. And then we'll keep that there. The base settings should be good. Um, you just want to make sure your computer is not giving it an excessive amount of stuff. But once that's checked, we will close that and click start. And then we'll give this a second to run or power up. And then we saw the Grub bootloader came up and then we can see Kali Linux is booting here. Now the default info is K-A-L-I and then same for the password. And then as you can see, we have Kali Linux up and running now. Ooh, that's a cool looking background, I like that. Uh, you can see your CPU usage here. We're gonna open up the command prompt and then we're just gonna ping a website to make sure that the internet is connected. So we'll just say ping google.com and as long as you get data back from this, which this is getting data back, we know we are connected to the internet and we can use Kali Linux. Now, where do you go from here if you're trying to learn cybersecurity? The best place that I have found to do that is going to be tryhackme.com. Um, it's got a lot of great tutorials. I would recommend running this in your virtual machine though, because if you're gonna like sign up and do it, sometimes you do need to copy and paste stuff from that to your Kali Linux, and it's hard to copy and paste from the host machine to the virtual machine. But if you look in the description, I will have a link where if you sign up for that, you get $5. I also get $5, but it's a win-win. So good way to get going on Try Hack Me. Hands down, best place that I found to learn cybersecurity stuff. They've got a lot of fun tutorials. They've got this little skill matrix, which is really interesting and kind of gamifies it. Makes you want to max out everything. Uh, but yeah, definitely re recommend that if you're trying to learn more about cybersecurity and get more into this. Um, I think that's about it for this one, though. We've got the virtual machine with Kali Linux up and running. Like I said, give me a thumbs up if this helps you out. If you run into any problems, let me know in the comments below. Or if you have any comments, let me know in the comments below. Um, hit that subscribe button because I'm going to put out more awesome stuff like this soon. And I think that's about it for this one. So I will catch you later. Peace. Round one.